guys happy saturday hope you guys have had a fantastic week the last clip in my last vlog was me looking exactly like this it's because i literally just finished filming i literally just filmed that outro so that's the reason why anyway i am headed to twin city mall then i'm gonna spend the then i'm going down by my best friend i'm spending the weekend there tomorrow we're gonna go to you pick and i don't know what else will happen tomorrow evening or anything like that but i will i wanted to start this vlog now before i left home because i just wanted to start off an intro because i don't know when i would have gotten the chance to do it otherwise so i hope you guys had a fantastic week as i said welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome 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 my name is mariana you can also call me mary b and i am so happy to meet you i um i actually took my curls out as you guys can see there I took the two strand twists out. I had them in, in my last vlog. So I took them out and now they're giving beautiful waves. Can you guys see that? Beautiful waves. Love that. Haven't done this in a while. I've just been doing the curls, the spiral curls for the last couple of months actually. So I haven't done that in a while. Anyway, um, I'm literally wearing very basic, something very basic my uh, jewelry this one is Karativa Ana Luisa Ana Luisa rings from H&M and I'm wearing this off the shoulder this off the shoulder black fitted top from H&M and my can you guys see let me lower um sis what are you doing what are you doing this off the shoulder fitted top is from h&m and i'm also wearing um these jeans oh wow this is a full um, a full h&m outfit actually so yeah these jeans are also from h&m i'm just wearing my new flats in my feet because i wanted to i didn't want to walk with extra shoes so i'm gonna wear this everywhere for the whole weekend so i also have my contact lenses back in my eyes again the same jelly gray from some of y'all couldn't decide between the green and the gray in my eyes so these ones are jelly gray and these ones are in prescription so i wear these ones more than the green ones so yeah um i think they're very cute they look almost natural you have to look really hard to see that i'm wearing contact lenses and i love that so yeah you guys um and i'm also wearing going with my brown zara bag um scent of the day is estee lauder beautiful bell y'all honestly y'all need to to check that perfume out it's reasonably priced and it's beautiful okay beautiful it's gorgeous anyway y'all let me head out to let me head out now i'll talk to you guys later Confined to my bedroom 
my nephews in my living room and he said he saw me pull out the tripod and the camera and he was like no auntie you can't vlog in here i will make noise <laughs> you have to vlog in the bedroom <laughs> so now i'm in the bedroom <laughs> Anyway, I am back home. It is Sunday evening. Y'all, listen. Listen. I went, okay, let me, let, let me retract. Because I feel like I didn't do such good vlogging. Because honestly, I was just enjoying myself. Uh, but I ended up going, I didn't go to Trin City Mall like I went to Movie Town. And then went home by my best friend. Then after we came out at night to we went to watch John Wick 4. Y'all, let me just tell you. I, I am not in the business of giving any spoilers or anything like that, but let me tell you that this was the best John Wick yet, and I love them all. The only thing I would have to say is that it was way too long. It was way too long, honestly. There was a portion by the stairs. There was a portion by the stairs. As I said, I'm not giving any spoilers, okay? Uh, the, but the, the portion by the stairs, that was like draining me. It, it was just draining me, okay? I felt, I was like, oh my gosh, no. This is too much, this is too much. It was just very draining. So if you guys watched um, John Wick 4, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it and like, it, like yeah let me know what you think of it but that was my views without having to without giving any spoilers I, I feel like that's generalized enough but it was so good the best one yet it just could have been like 30 minutes shorter in my opinion but but yeah it was it was great and then this morning, you all know I don't wake up early in the morning, right? But this morning I woke up at 7 a.m. And actually, let me zoom in this camera a little bit. Hold on. Is that good? Yeah, that's better. I like this, I like this angle better, sorry. But yeah, so I woke up this morning because you know the whole plan of me. <laughs> going down to spend the weekend was really to go to you pick this morning and y'all it was so good so 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 good i had chicken and waffles i did no. last week when i went to tgi fridays that would have been in last week's vlog y'all saw no that would have been I feel like I made another vlog in between then. Yes, I made a weekly vlog in between last weekend. So that'll be, that would have been two vlogs ago. Uh, when I went to TGI Fridays, I had chicken and waffles there. Then last year during Vlogmas, I went to Blue Star Diner and I had chicken and waffles there with um, Michelle, officially Michelle. And y'all, let me tell you, this chicken and waffles was just different. It hit different, okay? It is incomparable. It cannot be compared to any of the others. It is, it, everyone, everyone else is like here and they are here. It is above all else. It, it was so good. So, so good. I only ate half of it though and then I came home and ate the other half this evening. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it was so good. The atmosphere was really lovely. We took some nice photos and stuff. So it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it, honestly. And let me tell you, you all should definitely have at least the chicken and waffles because that's the only thing I had there. And I had a um, pretty and pink smoothie that was strawberry bananas and Greek yogurt. Like everything is all natural, you guys. Everything is all natural, so y'all know. Speaks to my soul, right? I love it. I can attest for the chicken and waffles because literally there was there was like eight or nine of us there and, and like most of us took chicken and waffles. So we can attest for the chicken and waffles. It was amazing. Anyway, y'all, I, I wanted to show you guys what I got. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot to tell you guys the other thing. Y'all, I... My nephew's coming. One moment. Yes, I am. Come. Sorry about that. I forgot to tell you guys about the best part. 
Well, I say that very sarcastically, okay? <laughs> but y'all, I packed my little weekender bag. My big weekender bag was packed and y'all, can you believe? I, I, I was like, I'm sure enough I have everything. I have everything. Y'all know, when I got down there, I realized that I forgot all of my makeup at home. I did that. <sighs> I was so mad at myself. And then I ended up having to go to, I went to West Mall and I went into Wonderful World, picked up some makeup items there. I literally was looking for just cheap stuff to that will work for me because I know that I use specific things for my skin now and I wouldn't have been able to get them there. So I just picked up like some affordable uh, makeup items that I needed and I then I went to Super Farm and I put and I picked up my face powder. But to me like this is what I have on right now and honestly I don't know maybe when I'm looking back at the footage I will know for sure but like to me this looks darker than my complexion I, I'm not sure and it is in the shade that I use 360 let me show you guys all of the makeup that I that I picked up in case you guys were wondering and because I've already used it all this morning I can already tell you guys what I like from what I don't like okay so I'll tell you guys what to stay clear from but yeah this is the I picked this up in in Super Farm. This is the face powder that I use in the shade 360. Now, usually I use 355, but last year I got sunburned really bad and I started using 360. Now, this is what I have on now and I feel like it's darker than my complexion now. So maybe I need to go back to the 355, but I already have a 355 here already, so I'll try it and see the next time I'm putting my makeup on, I'll try it and see how that looks. And if not, then I'll just dab some of the 360 all for it. But yeah, I picked this up at Super Farm. This was uh, $75. These are LA Girl eyeliners in the shade Deepest Brown. But this is what I usually use to do my eyebrows with when I'm not doing when I'm not doing the um the one that the company sent me because that was super quick. When I'm not doing that, this is what I've been using for years to do my eyebrows. And they work really, really good. Like, well, I've been using them for years. So these are $20 each. So I picked those up, needed those actually, because I'm like down to this much of the ones that I have already. This is normal. I used to use this concealer, but I no longer use this concealer. I now use the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Concealers, as well as the Fenty Beauty one. I needed to resort back to this because I couldn't find the one that I needed. So I resorted back to this, um, and this is in the shade Beautiful Brown Bronze. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. HD concealer. I don't really like these ones anymore y'all. Honestly, I don't But it did the job for me today. So I'm happy about that. That was $30 I assume this was the cheapest mascara that that there was in Wonderful world because I really wanted to go Pennywise and get but I didn't get a chance between the where I found out where I realized that I'm forgot my makeup home there was not a pennywise anywhere nearby so i couldn't get the mascara that well one of the mascaras that i usually use but anyway i picked up this beauty treats flirty lashes mascara this was 20 dollars this is what it looks like let me show you guys the bristle and this is what it looks like and y'all let me tell you guys right now don't waste your $20, honestly. This is nonsense. This is nonsense. Don't even waste your $20. Spend more money and get something that actually works. Actually, the mascara that I use right now was an affordable one. I don't remember the price of it, but it was an affordable one. I usually use L'Oreal and Maybelline mascaras, but I someone put me on to the more affordable one that I use now, and I love that one. Honestly, I really, 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 but I can't remember the price, but whenever I do go to Pennywise, I can see it. You all will see it in a 
Paul. As I'm seeing here, I'm just realizing that I picked up a lot of LA Girl things. LA Girl is a good brand actually. It, they make good stuff. Honestly, they, they do. I picked up this LA Girl Velvet Blush Contour Stick. Well, it's really a blush because no way nobody can contour in with this unless they are Barbie or something. No way anybody is going to contour with this. This was like $9. No, sorry. This was... $28 but I got it for $23 it was on sale and uh, y'all literally as soon as I open the top part of this this whole stick the whole stick of blush fell off into the sink <laughs> and I had to <laughs> pick it up push it down inside right push it back down inside clean up the sink area and stuff from where it spilled wipe the thing off and then I can use it this is Okay. <laughs> I don't really like it. Honestly, you can save your money, to be fair. You can save your money. I, I don't really like it. But it's okay. It's usable. Like, I will use it again because I have it. But it's not gonna be like this one. This is going to throw away. This makes no sense. This makes no sense, okay? This, I could use it again, but... <laughs> I don't like it still. I won't, like it's not that bad to throw away. I also picked up this Ruby Kisses Tattoo Felt Tip Eyeliner. You're in blackest, in the shade blackest black. This is what it looks like. Let me tell you guys, this eyeliner, this eyeliner is extremely good. Look at that tip. Precise precision and it is it, it's like a proper proper marker it there's no blotching and it's it's this is super good like really good let me see the price of this this was $25 this is an eyeliner I can put you repurchase super super good NK makeup lip pencil in the shade Coco this is what it looks like well I already used it and you can see the back of it there. Let me tell you guys, y'all know, for years, the only lip pencil that I use, I saw someone commented under one of my videos recently asking me for my lip combo under my last Pennywise haul, asking me for my lip combo. Let me tell you guys, well, I can't even remember the name of the lipstick that I used to be honest, but it's, the, it's my Riri lipstick. It's the only one that she had, I believe. I don't know if she ever had any after that, but that lipstick is thebomb.com. And it's also a very close color to, a very close pinky color to my natural lip color. So it works perfectly for me. And the only lip pencil that I've been using for years, right, is Max Lip Pencil Lip Liner in the shade chestnut that is the best lip liner in the world i don't care if you want to pay 400 dollars for a lip liner i'm telling you this mac one is it okay and it's just like between 17 to 20 us dollars it's amazing it literally especially it's amazing for up uh, for my skin tone for uh, if you're my skin tone it's perfecto or even like a similar skin tone to mine it's a very brown girl friendly and that lip liner can be used with any shade of lipstick and it'll make any shade of lipstick look good on you you heard it here first or maybe you, maybe somebody else said it but i'm telling you i'm confirming it if you heard it before i'm confirming it that's the best lip pencil in the world. However, this one, this lip pencil, this NK makeup lip pencil in the shade Coco, this is a good lip pencil. It's a good, good, good lip pencil and it's very similar in shade to the chestnut. Of course, the chestnut is better, hands down, but I can use this as a backup. I can use this as a backup. This is, I was pretty impressed by this lip pencil, honestly. And this was only $15, 15 TT dollars, okay? Two US dollars. So, it's a big price difference from the MAC one. 
So if this is your budget, I'm telling you, get this one, it works. Get this one, it's really good. I can use this. I'm not gonna give up on my Mac Chestnut because that's my holy grail, but that's a backup, honestly. And um, the last makeup item that I picked up was this LA Girl Pro Setting HD Setting Spray in matte finish. This is what it looks like. This is one full ounce, 30 ml. This was 30 TT dollars. This was okay. It was just okay. I felt like it's... I use e.l.f. and the Urban Decay setting spray and this is in no way comparable to either one of those two. But my makeup is still on my face, <laughs> so it did something. But it's not comparable, honestly, you guys, it, it's not. So yeah, that was a rundown of my weekend, but I also got a gift from my best friend, y'all. Let me show you guys what I got. Look at this. You might want to know what that is, or some of you might already know. If you know me well enough, then you already know what it is. But y'all, you can open here. And as you open here, what do you see there? A whole tea box filled with different teas. Oh my God, and I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea. Well, some of you may know. Some of you know how much I love teas. And uh, does she know me? Or does she know me? Okay. Y'all, I've been wanting a tea box so bad. And I know as a tea connoisseur, I should already have one, but I do now. I've always wanted to get it and I never, like, just never got one. And I, I said to myself, uh, I'm definitely getting one this year because my teas are just, I have a whole heap of teas right now and they're just everywhere. <laughs> well, in a section, but they're not organized at all. So I said to myself, I'm going to get a tea box this year. And I did. And I'm so happy. So happy. I love it so much. And she gave me different teas in it. This one is green tea with chamomile. This one is spiced chai black tea. This one is ginger and honey. Vanilla chai. Y'all know I love this one. This is the only one here that I've had before. Oh no, I've actually had this one as well before. And rose hip and hibiscus. I love this tea so much. Rose hip and hibiscus is amazing. And y'all know well, ginger is one of my favorite teas to drink. Lemon and ginger, so. Yeah, I'm so happy. So excited about this. Y'all have not yet. Oh, sorry for the noise. So excited about that. And then, she also gave me something in this box. As you turn around there, maybe you can see, you can see what it is, okay? We're ready. Wait, you're not ready for this. Look at this cute teacup. And it says best morning on this side. Has a cover, it's ceramic. And well, to be fair, most teacups are ceramic. Well, to be fair, there are glass teacups and wooden teacups and stuff too. So, okay, it's ceramic, I can say that. And as you uncover it, it's just plain old white on the inside. And this, it keeps the temperature hot on the inside, y'all. It keeps it hot. And on this side, there is a mirror. There. And it's pink, even the mirror is pink. So cute. Gonna wash this and I'll be using this in the morning. Yeah, guys, so that's about it. Sorry that this vlog was not all that, but hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.